Marathon. And Hartford HealthCare provides support and access to care for all runners at the marathon every year. Joining us today to tell us more is Stephanie Barassa, the Sports Medicine and Motion Analysis Manager at Hartford HealthCare's Bone and Joint Institute. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. Great to have you. So how important is it to prepare your body and train for a marathon? Um, and and very, very. So if you, you want to get yourself through that 20, 20 second, two miles or even a marathon, hopefully you've been training since February or March for this event. Um, and looking at, you know, the, the cooler weather this weekend, it's actually great weather for running. Um, but it's oftentimes people are actually not going to hydrate well. And that's something that we want to make sure that people are aware of is, is making sure that you're getting enough water in, preparing yourself with a good meal the night before and breakfast next morning. Um, a nice dynamic warm up and your heart rate ele elevated, especially with those cooler, cooler temperatures. Um, and, then, and then being able to, to get out, out there and recover afterwards and do some, do some stretches. All right. What are some exercises to prepare for the race? Yeah, I like to highlight highlight what we call dynamic warm up, warm up um, and activation. So using some mini, some mini band your knees, uh, doing open and closing of those knees, and to get your hips ready and firing up, um, getting your heart rate elevated. So whether it's jump roping, jogging in place, you want to see yourself visibly sweating, and then doing some of the dynamic movements like open the gates and close the gates, where you're moving your hips in a circular pattern, pre preparing those muscles for about uh, what you're about to do, which is run that longer distance. All right, and give people advice. How do you take care of your body after the race? Yeah, so the biggest thing that, that, that most people want to do is, is, is just kind of lay down, um, and that's where we're going to get a, get a lot of muscle cramping. Uh, so we're available right right in the, in the main park of, of the park where we can stretch stretch before and after the, the race so that we can help delay some of, some of the onset of soreness. soreness. Um, the next day, day you know, make sure you replenish uh, your, your carbohydrates, which you have burned, burned um, rehydrating, lots of water, lots, lots of sports drinks, and make sure that you go for a walk on Sunday or even in Monday so that uh, your, your, your body to recover, I feel as Okay. Step. We're having some audio issues. We apologize. Stephanie Barassa, Sports Medicine and Motion Analysis Manager with the Bone and Joy Institute. Thanks for being with us and have a great time Saturday. Thank you.